Um, <laughs> I just wanted to kind of preface the video you're about to watch. I filmed it over several days, um, but I just, I wanted to pop on really quick before the video because I got a new patron. Um, so thank you so much to Katie for joining my Patreon. And I just like, as always with every single patron, like the smile on my face, like, and especially, sh so sorry, a little side note. Um, I got this notification at like four o'clock in the morning because this person's from a different country than me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have like global patrons. Like this is crazy. Um, um, and I just like I'm so thankful to have like such a crazy like it's just it's surreal to me so thank you very much again I just want to say thank you so much to Katie for becoming a patron and to my other patrons I am getting back on schedule starting tomorrow so um, be prepared for like a shit ton of content starting tomorrow and all of the videos for next week are going to be going up tomorrow as well so prepare yourselves um yeah so that's my little spiel and I will just allow the video to play see you guys later bye Hi witches, so it is very early in the morning, I am still in bed, um, but today I am going to be working on um, my outfit for Samhain, so I wanted to kind of bring you guys along, I'm sorry this is really shaky, I'm kind of balancing you on my knees, um, but I decided that I was going to sew something for our Samhain gathering that is based on Hecate. So I am going to quickly go design a bodice really quick and make the pattern for that, and then I'm going to run to the fabric store on top of everything else that I'm doing today, which is insane, and um, we'll see how far I get today. I will probably finish it up throughout the week, but today I did at least want to get the pattern done, um, because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to like run out and get fabric and stuff today anyways, so, or to, during the week. Um, I will also be wearing this to the Renaissance Festival, so um, stay tuned for that vlog, and it should be done by by Saturday. I'm really hoping it's done by Saturday. It might be completed on Saturday, um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in a second. Okay, and here is the final little draft thing. I know it's a little crooked. I traced my pattern pieces a little weird, um, but as you can see, it's kind of like this little bodice thing. I have a little strappy there. Sorry for my feet, um, um, but there's the center back and then the center front with like this cool little panel. Um, I am not gonna be adding boning to this mainly because I don't really like boning. Um, it makes me feel incredibly claustrophobic, but I will be putting a heavyweight um, sew-in interfacing into this. So something that you would probably use for like furniture making. So the back is gonna actually have Velcro on it because I am a little bit too lazy to put in a zipper. No, I'm just kidding. But like legitimately I, um, I want this to be a little bit more adjustable. So I have an extra panel for the Velcro to go in and that is it. So I'm gonna go get some fabric. Okay, so it is really early in the morning on Thursday and I'm still working on stuff. I got my fuzzy socks on. Um, I have work a little bit later today, but I wanted to get all of my pattern pieces cut out. So I'm working on the bodice. I just wanted to show you the placement of everything and where it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna smooth out the cloth a little bit more, obviously, but I just want to give you guys the pattern layout in case you are following along. So I have my <laughs> lining, my interface, and then my fashion fabric um, so everything has been cut out and now I'm just going to interface the fashion fabric and pin together everything so I can start sewing ASAP but before I start sewing the bodice I also want to get the skirt and stuff cut which is like in this pile of stuff over here um, so I'll show you how I do that or like the finished product of that it's hard for me to film while I'm working but um, I am trying to do everything as best I can so I apologize but um, yeah I will see so you guys. I know this may not look super impressive. My hand looks really tiny because I'm zoomed out. But this is what you're looking at. is about 16 layers of tulle and four layers of crinoline. Um, and I have one more layer of tulle to put on there. But um, what I'm going to do is sew this top edge so all of the layers are together. Um, and then I'm going to fold them down to make the waistband. I'll have to wait to do all the folding down and stuff because I need help measuring. Um, but that is what I have. Oh my goodness. Um, and then the final layer of tool I'll put on top of all of that I'm going to be filling it with like um fake flowers and stuff so like the hem has all these cool like harvest looking flowers those are my interface pattern pieces in the corner because I'm a bad seamstress but yeah so tool pattern pieces sewing machine and various other things we are getting there so I have the bodice mostly done um I had a lot of issues sewing this today I just like with this I'm gonna have to press it a lot better um but and it's kind of sitting on the mannequin crooked um but yeah the velvet is like really stretchy like a lot stretchier than I thought it was going to be so like trying to get it to fit to a heavyweight fusible interfacing was just like not a good plan so lesson learned probably should have known that prior but like whatever um when I bought it I really didn't think it was as stretchy as it turned out to be but that's okay um 
this is the skirt that I laid out. I am now, I just finished with that. So I'm going to be adding all of my little fake flowers. Um, and then I think I'm going to go actually get like a bunch more. The dollar store opens in like an hour. I've been working on this for like two hours. So, um, all in all, I've put about four hours into this dress. So not too bad, honestly. And I think it kind of shows, um, but I'm going to fill this up and um kind of sew the skirt and like make the waistband and stuff i left a little hole in this um top layer so i can add way more flowers but yeah i'm just gonna go to like the dollar store and get a bunch of like harvest colored flowers so that way they kind of sit at the hem so um i'm gonna go do that and then finally i will give you the final looks once all of this is done hey, witches. so this is the final look i just got back from the renaissance festival so i just wanted to film a little bit um before i took all of this stuff off i think my head's getting cut off in this but it is okay but this is how i made my little dress um the next time i think i'm going to do a different type of waistband and actually put boning into my corset um but i'm hoping to wear this to our Samhain celebration because i feel very witchy in this and i feel just very like poofy and awesome and if you saw my video yesterday you know that this is the best one i got at the renaissance festival so i'm very excited and i will be posting many pictures with this i'm sure i'm gonna currently I'm gonna hang it up on my wall, so hopefully like, I can show you guys my witch room when it is finally complete and total, and oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna decorate this, put some cool stuff on here, maybe put like a pentacle charm, I think I talked about that yesterday. Um, but yes, 